So, welcome to the gray days of winter. We're not quite to winter yet here in Kentucky, but all the leaves have fallen and we're to the point now where it's time to pull my lithium batteries. Well, I should say battery. And uh, we did our winterization probably more than a month ago, but and we're probably doing this a little bit early because uh, honestly think I put it in this compartment here. I think it would be good for most of the year. The thing I'm worried about is when you have days that are below freezing and then it gets down to the teens and single digits at night or even lower than that. So northern climates would have to take, do this a lot earlier. Actually here in Kentucky probably don't have to do it till late December through January and, and probably most of February. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull this thing a little early because the holidays are coming up and uh, just have an opportunity to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it. I've already done all the things I wanted to do to the uh, camper for the for the off season for this part. I'll probably do some more in the off season in the spring. So get started. Here's what we're going to do. So if you saw my video where I did my batteries, I put mine in this compartment here. Of course, it's filled with stuff. So uh, this is where the battery is down below this. So basically gonna clean this compartment out and get to my battery and then we'll go from there. So pretty much the hardest part of this job is just taking out all the stuff. But I went ahead and took my dust buster and I got it in here and swept out everything. And uh, last year I put this panel in here and I thought initially I'd have to take out the screws. But I think I'm gonna be able just to lift this up here and then disconnect and lift out the battery. So that's what we're going to work on now. So what you'll see here I made up is just kind of something I rigged up. It's basically a Ziploc bag with duct tape wrapped around it. And that's for each one of the set of terminals. So I'm going to take the, when I take the black terminal off, I'll stick it in a bag. And when I take the red terminals off, I'll stick that in another bag. <clears throat> this just keeps everything from shorting out while you're, while it's in the winter stage another problem or thing i'm worried about is that, that i still have the solar working i'm not going to disconnect that solar so there must be some juice coming in from that solar so as long as it's in a bag and it's doesn't have anything to conduct and touch any kind of metal frame then i'm not going to worry about that being hooked up but i just won't have those isolated so i checked and it looks like it's going to be a half inch uh for these set up here and these here are, are a special uh, craftsman they actually get on here and you can actually you can actually pivot them a little bit on the way it's set up here so it's it you can actually ratchet it somewhat so to make it a little easier so what they recommended or what I've heard recommended is you always take the negative off first so we're going to do that and get it into its bag and then we'll move on to the positive so I end up taking that piece of wood out. All I had to do is take out one screw out of here. And it's tougher to get this out because if you notice, my, my boat is considerably long. I don't know if they have shorter boats for this. This one here is actually shorter on the positive side. It's not gonna be quite as bad. But boy, this one here is just, you know, there's not a little bit of room to get in and out of there. So I'm having to manipulate the wrenches on both sides. And so it's kind of a pain. Just gotta be patient with it and work with it. So what I've done there is taken my negative terminal and put it inside my little baggie that I made and uh, tuck that in there that way it's going to short against anything and then I will do the, the positive side. And on this side we have more stuff. We have, we have our shunt powered from this. We also have a charging set up for our charger and then a regular terminal. So we've got three things that's going to go in this bag. Now on this side it was considerably easier, a little bit shorter uh, bolt that I had on there. And also if you notice, the nut side was in. On this side I had the nut side out, which I couldn't get my ratchet in here. So I suggest if you re when you reinstall these to always have the, the nut going or the bolt going in from the outside in with the nut on the inside. That makes it a little easier to remove and Put stuff in. Still have a little trouble here on the end because I don't have a lot of clearance, but it still makes it easier to do it that way. So we're gonna pull this loose and get it into our little bag. Now, if you notice, I've got this strap on my Battleborn battery. This doesn't come with the Battleborn battery. I end up 
buying it separately. Battleborn even suggested I go somewhere and find one. Like if you find one, they said up to two or three bucks, is probably could get one. But I just went ahead and ordered it from their website. Yeah, it cost eight dollars and I don't know something to ship it, but still, it's it's designed for this battery, so that's what I got it for. So you may have want a strap if you have to pull it out. So I'm just gonna basically grab a hold of this and pull it out. So there it is. It's out, and uh, basically I put my pool noodles back in here after done. Like I say, I've got these little covers for my terminals and they're just going to sit in here i'll end up putting the shelf back in and packing the stuff back in there for the winter and uh we'll probably be putting this thing back in probably mid march i say in our area by mid march we're we're out of the really sub freezing temperatures still have some freezing temperatures but we don't have the day time highs are usually above freezing so we'll see if we can put this back in hopefully uh, mid to late April or March and at the very worst April is when we'll be putting it back in so that just depends on where you live at so now I'm going to show you how I'm going to pack it up and uh, set it up for the for the winter so there we go we got it all packed back in and if you notice I bought me some handy dandy Anderson levelers so this spring we'll get to test those out and see how we like those I really like the way they they seem like they work so we'll be giving those a try out and use my old one inch levelers here but it'd be nice to give that a try so anyway we're going to continue on i to clean up my tools a little bit i am going to take my take this down to my basement i was going to put it in the garage i think it's going to be a little warmer in my basement so i'm going to go ahead and put the battery in the basement bring the charger down because before i bring it up here next year I want to put it up to full charge and what they recommend and like i say this is different for different battery manufacturers but battleborn from what i understand they don't want you to pack it away unless you've got about 80 percent and i know i'm i'm probably about 95 maybe close to 100 percent right now so i'm good with the battery charge in there now that should be fine over the uh, winter and uh we'll show you how i set it up in the basement so there i have it in my basement my basement rarely gets below 50 degrees so we should be good to go and when you want to store this you know kind of an open area it doesn't vent or anything but I like to have a little bit of clearing around it I put it on wood I'm not sure if that's something that's from old school stuff but I just go ahead and do it anyway but something to keep in mind is one reason I bought Battleborn you've seen you've seen horror stories where these things come they, they just all of a sudden bust into flames and you know if you get some of those cheap brands I, I mean I'm not guaranteeing it's not gonna happen to this one but I don't think this is gonna ex start exploding and catch the house on fire but you might want to think about that when you have one of those cheaper brands you know I trust this one now when I go to put a charge on it in the spring I will keep a close eye on it maybe even take it out to my garage so I don't have to worry about anything like that because that's when it will heat up. So that's about all I have for this video. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. And uh, I'm going to get through this winter just like the rest of us. And we'll be camping before you know it. So we'll see you. See you on the next one.